And this is the Arender N30SA. Too much? Doing too much. I'm Mike from Suncoast Audio. I'm Mike from Suncoast Audio. And today we are unboxing the new Arender N30SA. What is SA? SA is the version of the N30 that is designed for the North American market and the European market. How does it differ from the, Euro from the Asian market? The Asian market gets a 12 terabyte standard moving hard disk drive. The North American market and the European market is getting the SA version, which is the solid state version. An 8 terabyte solid state drive is included. Um, you also have a slot on the back of one of the chassis, and we'll get into that. This is a unique two chassis unit from a render but it also has a slot to put a second solid state drive or a hard disk drive if you really wanted to, but you, you would ideally put another eight terabyte solid state drive. And then with your render software, you could set it up as either a 16 terabyte, you know, basically seeing it as one large drive or set it up as a mirror drive. So if you did have a failure on one drive, you'd always have your stuff backed up on the other. So depending on how much uh, music you have, you're either going to set it up as 8 terabytes or 16 terabytes. So um, before I get into the unboxing, I I've got a cheat sheet here. I want to go through some of the features of this new unit. This is actually one of the first in the country, if not the first. We're very anxious and very excited to get this product as we are a full-fledged render shop. Um, we love the render products with external DACs. Uh, that we use here in the store, such as MSB and Cord and some others that we have here, um, the Aqua as well. Um, so the N30SA features a full-color 8.8-inch screen that res measures in resolution 1920 by 480. Um, the CPU is new in here as well. It's actually a low-powered Intel quad-core uh, CPU with 8, eight gigabytes of system memory. So... The onboard storage is eight terabytes of solid state storage, as we, we mentioned earlier, and the 480 gigabyte caching solid state drive. Um, and you also, as I mentioned before, have access on the back of the unit to pop in a second eight terabyte drive. Um, two set, this is something that our render, our rep, we have to thank John Paul Lazars, our rep from a render. This was his idea. Um, he asked that a render, uh, when they developed this, include two different lengths of cables connecting the power supply unit to the audio unit. And one of them is 0.5 mil, uh, meters and the other cable is 1.5 meters. So if you're gonna stack them, you know, one shelf below, you go with the 0.5. If you're going to put it a couple of shelves below or maybe another rack over, you have the flexibility to use the 1.5 meter cable. And no, there's no difference in sound. So um, for, the North, for the North American European market, as I mentioned, you've got the 8 terabyte solid state drive. Um, this is the first dual chassis design from a render. And I know what everybody's thinking out there. Does the N30SA replace the W20SE? No, the W20SE is going to remain in the lineup. Um, what remain? What becomes the flagship? Honestly, they both are right at the top, and they both sound a little bit differently. So, depending on the rest of your system, you're definitely going to want to compare a W20SE and an N30SA. Um, some people may prefer the approach of the separate power supply and all of the uh, new goodies that come with the N30SA over the battery power supply of the W20SE. Both are great. You really just need to compare them. We actually have both here in the store, and we'll certainly be doing our own comparisons. Um, to start out with, there is a lot of the N20 technology in the N30 but it's been improved upon by separating many of the components into the second chassis. So we have, uh, as a result, a lower noise floor, jitter reduction, increased dynamics, and ulti ultimately the result is a greater purity of the audio signal. Um, the N30 is actually linked together with two cables, um, and the power box 
is one and the audio box is the other. The power box houses the, the power supplies, the display driver, which if anybody knows can be quite noisy, especially for a you know, full screen color display like this one has a 8.0 inch display. Um, it also houses the S solid state storage, so it keeps the, even the SSD completely removed from the audio components. And all of the circuitry that's related to the system control remains in that second chassis, what we'll call the power chassis. Um, the, uh, the audio box contains, so the, the, the top module, if you will, it contains the display itself, so the 8.8 inch color display, uh, the, the SPDIF audio board, and the OCXO clock, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, both chassis um, have a 10 millimeter thick top plate, and that top plate acts as an EMF shield and provides a greater degree of anti-resonance. Um, the AC powered linear power, uh, power supply that's in the power box, it delivers a clean DC power source for the audio box. Um, and what this does is it results in a dramatically lower noise floor. Um, by separating the AC socket itself, the LCD display driver, the AC to DC power rectifier, the hard drives, the LAN ports, etc. Separating all of that from the audio box results in you know, a whole new level of audio purity. Um, the N30SA further reduces noise by um, integrating new isolated LAN ports. The LAN signals which contain noise from the router are now separated by galvanic isolation through a transformer and double isolated LAN port in the power box and then transmitted to the audio box. The, as I mentioned earlier about the clock, the uh, OXCO, which is oven controlled crystal oscillator clock is the same one used in the W20SE and it affects the SPDIF outputs of the N30SA. So if you did want to use an external clock, that is also an option for you as well. So we've here pl played around with the Cybershaft clocks and the Esoterra clocks and we've liked the improvement that it makes. So um, both the, the N30SA, the W20SE, and the N20 accept a word clock input. Make sure you use a 75 ohm cable. So that's the highlights of the, the N30. Um, let me give Mike the honors of unboxing. All right. Yeah. One thing I really like about a render is the boxes. Yeah, the boxes, they do a great job packaging. And this came direct to us from Korea, so, um, you know, it, it made it, and it looks perfect, you know, no problems at all. We open it up, and we have yet another box. So, we're going to start to unpackage that. Okay, we have opened the outer box, the black one here, and then we've got the, the inside cardboard box. We've cut that open as well, so we're just going to do a, uh, a video here so you can see us unboxing. First thing first, looks like there's some sort of accessory box, so we're going to open that up, probably the uh, the cables. Yes. So you have the different length cables in here. Um, one is a signal, I believe one is a data cable and one is a power cable. So um, you do need two cables connecting, and again, they come in, in different lengths, so that's great. Start guiding there as well. Great packaging. Yeah. I forgot to mention the the retail on the N30 SA is uh, twenty four nine ninety. If I'm mistaken, maybe I'm wrong. I, we'll I put it up. Idea. We'll put it up in the comments. <laughs> but I, th I think that's what the price is. Right around twenty five k, and this definitely is a little bit pricier than the W twenty SE. So. Uh, if that's a factor for you in determining the new statement piece, well, that's, uh, that's something you may have to take into consideration. I'm going to make some room here on the other side so I can pull this out. This, I'm assuming, is the main box, although it's got some weight to it, so it could be the power box. So all render stuff comes wrapped like this. 
a perfect fit. Yes, the Always. power supply. It's beautiful. Power su oh. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice. So you can see the connections back here. You've got the, the power connection. And then the other cable, as I was mentioning, is over here. And this is definitely a data connection, as you can see. And then you've got your clock options on here as well. And then you've got your uh, you know USB audio uh, output as well. So uh, very, very nice. Very nice. So what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way. All right. And then we'll keep looking for more goodies in here. And as they say on TV, and there's, and yet there's more. <laughs> <laughs> more foam. Extremely well packaged. Yes. Two thumbs up. Great job, Arender. As always. They're both about the same weight. Really? Hmm. Ah, beautiful. There's that 8.8 .8 inch color screen. Can't wait to fire this up and take a look. Very nice. Beautiful fit and finish. I mean, just flawless. Absolutely perfect. So let's take a look on the back. It's not much. No. So you've got your power out. Um, you've got your, your data out, you've got USB inputs here, and then you've got your separated, uh, LAN port as well. So very, and then you can install a solid state drive is here as well. So very nice. Very, very nice. So here we have both units, as you can see, this is the, uh, the power unit, the power supply unit, and then over here we have the display unit. So just in case it wasn't clear earlier, so we have all of the noisy components essentially in one box, which is the, the power supply, and then we're keeping the precious audio circuit away from that. So um, the only thing that's that's unique is that you do have the USB output um, because it's getting its power from the power supply in the power chassis. And then over here, you've got the noisy display, the, the, the noisier drivers. You've got all that kind of stuff in this box, the hard drive. And that's keeping it separate from, you know, what is essentially the, the, the audio portion. So, um, yeah, we're going to fire this up. We're going to let everybody take a look. And we will have another unboxing video for you soon. And that is the new Arender N200. So very exciting. That has an MSRP of $6,000. And that is a, a new unit that is a, a baby N20. So take a look out for that. We have it here. And we will be doing that video shortly.